for the Ophir Award um, uh, as Best Supporting Actor for this role. Tell us a little bit about how you prepared to take on this very heavy role. Well, I knew it's not an easy mission, so uh, I was fortunate enough to have a lot of um, time to do research. And me and uh, my lovely co-star, Yoav Wotman, who uh, went and spent lots of time in institutes in Tel Aviv and started to get grab information. Then later on, we met uh, families. Uh, and at the end, we met a lot of people that have autism, and we spent some time with them. And after that, uh, Guy Nativ connected me to a lovely stage director who did uh, a huge show about uh, people with disabilities. So I, I talked to him and I did uh, like, I think it was uh, four months that we had preparation for this role. So it was lovely. A fantastic job. The, um, the film itself was based on a short story? Yeah. Um, can you tell us a little bit about yeah, this? Uh, the history, it's funny. Um, when I was young, when I was, um, I think, about 12, my mother got a phone call from a young director named Guy Nativ who is just uh, doing a short film to graduate his film school. And uh, she wanted me to, uh, he wanted me to act the, the role of Yoni, the younger, the younger kid. But uh, I didn't do it at the end. And after all these years, this, this short movie really got huge successful all around uh, Europe and he won the Berlin Film Festival. And then later on, they decided to do a feature film out of it. So it's a nice story. That's the way I met the guy for the first time when I was very young. And then when I was uh, 23, he just called me and uh, asked if I wanted to do this role. And I realized that uh, uh, it's not an easy job. And I, 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 I can see this. This is when acting is, is going, going to a better place. Because then you can know that you do something that maybe get attention of telling the story of this young boy, Tomer. How's it been received in Israel, this film, um, both in the general community and uh, specifically in the civility community? I think a lot of people really really got connected to this film because I think he, the subject is very universal. And also in Israel, uh, I think you can see a lot of uh, hard stuff going on there with the institute that is closing up. And that stuff really does happen in Israel a lot. So I think in, from that way, it was very helpful to tell the story because then people get more uh, knowledge about the stuff and maybe want to uh, you know, give money and help, help this institution to, to be still working. And the audience really liked it because I think in the end this movie it's about communication, it's about family. And all this, and I remember when I was doing the preparation for the role, I used to talk with the families and they always talked about how they want to communicate to one another. And in, in this film you can see all the families not really communicate to one another till the end, I guess. Do you have hope for this family? Do you think the, the, the last shot of the film is um, after we have this nice little bright um, sun shower, we then go into shots of a storm, yeah. of a big storm coming. What, what are your hopes? I think they will survive the storm. Because, you know, in the beginning of the film, you can see the, the family is kind of broken. And I think because Tomer is coming back home, and I really believe that that's what people should do all the time. Because a lot of families in Israel have their son, have their people in an institute, they don't visit him. And that's, that's, I think, the biggest lesson, because when Tomer goes back home, he really helps to connect the entire family together. And uh, I think this, story, uh, this movie is also about brothers, and luckily, I was so lucky to have uh, Yoav with me, because we really had a good connection, and we really became friends to this day. <coughs> he was, uh, of course, terrific as well. We're going to have time for just a couple of questions from the audience. Um, and uh, we'll start right here. Uh, what is your next role um, going to be? Um. Actually, I did a TV series in Israel. It's about the Chabad house. I went to Nepal for uh, two months, three months actually, and we shot about all this story about the young couple, Chabad, Chabani couples, who were opening this house in Nepal. And a lot of travelers are coming and meet them. So that was my latest role, I think. Yeah.
Mixel, of course, has been in uh, other major Israeli films that have been released in the States, such as uh, Lebanon. Um, we screened here uh, Lost Islands as well, um, and uh, many others you can catch in, you can catch in many, many of the bigger Israeli films, and we hope to, um, uh, while he's here, use that a little bit. Let me grab a question from here on the way. I was going to say, you played something with autistic very, very well. Uh, and I'm saying, you must, what did you do to study? Did you, did you watch people behave? Uh, I watch people behave, and I've been walking, talking all, all day long with people with autism, and it was such a lovely journey for me. I, I wonder if there was any pushback to you playing uh, a person with autism here in the United States, and we just had a panel last evening, uh, you know, that there really is a loop to have um, people with disabilities portray the roles that are being portrayed in cinema and on television. So I'm wondering what the situation is in Israel, and is there such a movement as well? Not, 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 not that many, you know. I think um, it's... Uh, it, they didn't deal with that subject uh, that much. That's why I really had a pleasant time working on this film, because I think yeah, Israeli films are, are going into to a lot of uh, political movies, and they do a lot of uh, stuff that they don't really tell other stories. So that was kind of a unique story to tell. It's about family. Most of Israeli movies are about families or about war. So uh, that was kind of in the middle. So. I don't know which is better. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So uh, that was a, a, that was charmful, and I think um, you know, there's, it's kind of when I thought about acting this role, I, I knew that you can fall into cliches, you can fall into all these American movies that I used to watch when I was young, which was Rain Man and all those other movies. But I realized that I can do something with my acting here that can I don't know tribute to other people. Yeah. Uh, you did a fabulous job. Thank you. The film, I think, really does well. Thank you all. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> We'd love to see you at more screenings. Um, if we have now a screening of Run If You Can, a fabulous film. Don't miss it. Um, you get your tickets upstairs at the box office. We'll be starting in about 10 minutes. But I have to ask is that you go upstairs down to the reception um, from the friends of uh, Baby Shapiro. And um, exit. you can exit through the back or through all the side doors. And we'll do the floor to see you soon.